Hi, I am Mohammed. In this video, we will go over the new changes in Let's Mod and how it impacts your journey and how you build mods. Previously, when you made a mod, players are expected to modify the content of that mod, then turn it on, turn it off, modify again, and turn it on again. That's fine, but it's very complicated. Now, players have the ability to modify while running the mod without having to turn it on and off. It happens automatically and we call it auto run. Let's look at an example. This is what you are familiar with. You see a mod, you fix it and then run it to see if it, your solution was successful. Let's add a timer to count when the mod is running to make the demonstration easier for us. As you can see now, the timer starts counting after I hit the power on button. Now let's open this window and enable auto run. Now as you can see, when I loaded the mod, it started immediately without any interaction from me. This means that the chips are running and performing calculations right from the start. What's cool now is I can edit the parts and move them around without having to turn off the mod. I can still pause and do whatever I want as well, including editing chips. This is how my mod works. I run this stack called move, it checks if the head and the wheel are connected, if yes, it will move forward, if they are not, it will repeat the check again forever, until the parts are connected. It's important to always be checking instead of checking only once, because the mod will be running forever. Auto run works great for other types of mods, like this game. It's a more immersive experience for the player to start from this position instead of looking from the top down and then deciding to hit run and then actually start playing. Let's go and test our mods with auto run.